Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, it's bin day and that's the day when they come to pick up all of our trash. Now, in American English, the bins are referred to as trash cans. But in British English, we just call them bins. Now, we have a really weird, bizarre system with bins here in my local area. Every area is different around the UK. It's all operated by the local government. But in my area, I have a black bin for food waste. I have a green bin for plastic. I have a brown bin for garden rubbish. And I have a blue bin for paper. Now, I know that in some countries you have these bins uh, outside on the main roads. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen here. So my garden has all of these bins sitting there. And I have to make sure everything goes in the correct bin. Now, some people here, they don't care about recycling. So they just put everything in black bags and put it in the black bin. But more and more, we are being urged and persuaded to recycle responsibly. And soon, in the not too distant future, they will begin to fine us or penalize us for things in the wrong bins. We're not at that point yet, but most of us here really don't care We were never really educated about recycling, so we just do what we want. Now, I'm very careful because I try to put correct things in the correct bins. But even for me, it's kind of difficult to know what goes in what bin. And the other thing I need to tell you is that these bins are picked up by the council once in the week. But only one bin is picked up every week, which means that these bins are emptied monthly. So today, they came for the green bin. Next week on the same day, they'll come for the brown bin. Then the following week, they'll come for the black bin. And then the next week after that, they'll come for the remaining one. It gets a little bit complicated because you have to remember which bin is going on what day. And you have to take it out to the main road. And when you take it out to the main road, you have to leave it there. They come, they'll open it, they'll look in it to make sure that the right things are there. And if they're not, they have a little label they tied to the bin, which says, your bin couldn't be emptied today because you had the wrong items in the wrong bin. So in other words, I put my green bin out today and if they find, let's say, food waste in there, they will leave me a note And they will say, sorry, we couldn't empty your bin. Please review the items in the bin and place it next month for collection again. So we have to be quite careful what we put in the bins. Now, for me, I'm usually quite organized. I like to put the right things in the right bins. But I remember at Christmas time, I made a little mistake. And that was because, you know, I love Christmas tree lights. It's just a Teacher Joseph thing, okay? In the winter, I have Christmas tree lights everywhere. I love Christmas tree lights. I put them on the ceiling. I put them around the clocks that I have. I put them around my piano. Most of them are quite high in case my little cat eats them, which he loves to do. But, oh, I just love Christmas tree lights. So even in October, November, December, oh, January, February, March, I have these little 
fairy lights, as they're called. Oh, I love fairy lights. Anyway, as you know, fairy lights don't last forever. So for me, uh, I had to ensure that I put them in the right bin. Now, this is the problem. Sometimes you find things that don't go or fit exactly in the bin that you think they should go in. For example, egg cartons. Well, they're not really paper, so should they go in the paper bin? And then there's the shopping bags, you know, those plastic carrier bags? The green bin isn't allowed to take those, even though they're plastic. They have to go in the food waste. So it gets a bit complex. So you can imagine with my Christmas tree lights, which stopped working, the ones I was putting in the bin, I had a real moment trying to decide which bin they should go in. Should they go in the plastic bin? After all, the lights are plastic. But then they have a wire around them. So the wire shouldn't go in the plastic bin. So am I supposed to cut the lights up and put the plastic bit in the plastic bin? Or do I use the general bin for the food waste goes? So quite a decision there. So anyway, I thought to myself, well, I'll put them in the green bin and see what happens. So I put them in the green bin, and of course I got one of these notes. Sorry, you put something in the bin which shouldn't be there. So, please empty your bin, ensure all items are correct, and please present it again, uh, present it again uh, next month. So I took the fairy lights out because I knew that was the problem. And then I tried to put them in the other bin, the multi-purpose bin. And I thought, well, to avoid any problems, I'll put them in a black bag so nobody can see what they are anyway, you know. And that was fine. So you see the problem of the bins? It takes a... <laughs> you have to be quite uh, a bit of an expert to work out what goes where. Something in the wrong bin? Yeah, it can get you into trouble very quickly. The other thing uh, which I've discovered very recently is that you have to be very careful if you are using any kind of sharp object, okay? So glass, for example, broken glass can go in the green bin, but if you have any medical conditions where you're using needles, you're not allowed to dispose of those in any of the bins. Okay, so those of you who have lessons with me, you may know that recently I've been diagnosed with diabetes. So I have these little lancets, as they're called. They're like little needles. And I have to be very careful how I dispose of those. I can't put them in the bin, so I have to ask my doctor to give me a special prescription, which I have to take to the pharmacy to get a special plastic box, which I then have to keep. And then either the government come and pick up that box, or uh, I can take that box to the pharmacy or to the doctor and ask them to dispose of it. It's no wonder that our government is saying that they're almost bankrupt. <laughs> they're sending someone special to pick up a little box of needles that I've used. It does seem a little bit of a personal service there, doesn't it? Um, the other thing about our bins, because they're only picked up once a month, today was the green bins, next week the brown bins, week after the blue bins, uh, you might think that they would smell a little bit. And in hot weather in the summer, they almost certainly do. But we have no choice. So usually what we do is we wrap up all the food in heavy black bags to stop it smelling. And the stuff that goes in the plastic bin gets washed out thoroughly before we put it in there. 
But I think most people in this area just ignore the recycling rules and do what they want anyway. I've learned my lesson after my Christmas tree light stopped working. And the winter is about to come again. So I'll be buying my supply of Christmas tree lights and fairy lights to put around my apartment for the winter. Oh, they're beautiful. You know, it just lights up uh, the apartment very well on a dark night. Although I have to say, did you know the Christmas tree lights are the number one cause of house fires? So I have to make sure that I switch them all off before I go outside. And I also have to make sure that I keep them away from the cats. Anyway, if you think that your rubbish or waste disposal system is bad, please spare a thought for us here in the UK. Between black bins, green bins, blue bins and brown bins, and then they suddenly decide to change the colours, it can get awfully complicated. But that's just the way things are. Well, today is uh, the day, the rubbish collection day. So my green bin is already in the garden and I can hear the bin truck or the bin lorry going along and uh, picking them up. So I guess we should be thankful for what we have, I guess. That's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk again soon. See you. Bye.